Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War. In the last one we got Metz and again pressed our advantage against the French. The Pope did declare that we should stop attacking the French but I told him to fuck off and attack Metz. He didn't excommunicate us, however I do feel he will excommunicate me this turn because I'm going to take Marseille. Uh, let's see, I could get a Rebald. I'm not really after a Rebald. What's Marseille's? Defences. King Fulk. After the killing of the king up in Metz, we're going to kill the next in line for the throne. What I will do, Richard Stanley, is I want some uh, mercenary spearmen. And I think I'll take another company of longbowmen as well. Why not? Um, so I've got my diplomat down here. He can't enter diplomatic um, diplomatic negotiations with Milan just yet, but give it time, he will. So, how are these? How's he doing? Uh, he can't get him because he's already done his spy thing this turn. So I'm going to get him to come up here and just have a look, see what's happening. So there's a Danish two, no Danish diplomat and Danish merchant, and then they've got French diplomats and a witch. And also these. Ooh, hello. That's interesting. And that's quite interesting as well. What about Dion? That's also got quite a large force in it. Um, how about that's got a small force burn? Dion's now their capital, and that's infested by the plague, which is good news. Hopefully, you're infected. I am no longer infected. Just like a. The Hungarian phrase book demands that you see. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's anything else for me to do this turn. How are my priests down here? Priesten? Yes. Yes, priesten is now a, uh, yes. a verb. Somehow. Get them start venturing further into um, non Catholic terrain just to keep up appearances. Um, I would really like Jerusalem to fall. That's a, a very large force, but that's also a very large force. And he's just a diplomat, but he's a he is also a very large force. So yeah, everyone looks like they're all getting very angry. There's a Milanese watchtower in the middle of <laughs> the middle of a desert. Looks a bit out of place, but hey, who am I at to dictate? So, that's going to be it for this turn. Let's see what the French do next turn. Not sure why this is all popped up at the bottom. Reams. What's, what's Reams got to do with anything? Reams is very unhappy. I've got a feeling that's French agents doing that. Trying to incite a riot. Um, so I'm gonna have to reinforce Reims. Uh, I can't take anyone out of Paris because Paris is bordering on rebellion as well. Uh, so it should be fun to try and juggle me troops. Uh, come on, Egypt and Denmark. What are you doing? You're heading down that way, and you're fucking off that way. Oh, he's moving, he's moving. I don't like the Danish. The Danish are sneaky bastards. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure what to make of the Portuguese as well. I've got a feeling that they're going to declare war on me at some point in this Let's Play. It's just a matter of time. So, and that witch can die. Oh no, someone's dead. Alright, Death stalks the land. Uh, Khan, Paris and Reims, there seems to be a secondary infection wave coming along. Uh, shit. Lost money there. Faction announcements. A priest. No, 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 no. Fuck. Right. Time to get recruiting more priests. 
Let's see, Mets, what can you recruit? Nobody for some reason. Oh, right, because you don't have a governor, that's why. Right. I'll get recruiting some militia. Could get you recruiting priests, but I don't want to. Paris it seems to have uh, cheered its face up a, a wee bit. Uh, oh, it's been auto managed. Nope, don't auto manage shit. Alright. Uh, priest. And right, that's it. Get building more militia. No, do I want more militia? I could get irrigation instead, or I could get an alchemist's lab. And nah, I'll just uh, get some more militia. Right, Reims, you're very, very unhappy. You could recruit one priest, but I don't want you to do that. You, I don't want you to build shit. I don't want you to recruit people. You can recruit one priest, one and two lots of dismounted feudal knights. How's me projected totals looking? All right. Right, you're on a normal tax rate. I can't improve that because it's a castle. That's in a very high tax rate. And Paris is on a military build policy. So that's great news. What I think, ah, uh, what I think it is, Paris was infected. I moved my king to Khan, so obviously Khan's going to get infected. And then I moved some soldiers from Paris to Reims. So maybe that's why you don't hold any people. And they don't hold any people. But you know what? I'm going to go there and then next turn I'm going to engage them it looks like the big force seems to have sailed off somewhere which I'm not too keen on why are you set to a cultural build policy I don't know why are you set to build so many units I don't know either Dublin's just been sitting there doing nothing for the last uh, couple of hundred years so if I get paid, nah, I don't want to build anything because I don't really have the money. But I will get Marseille. <clears throat> so I've got one battering ram. Mm. Construction of that equipment is not required. Why? What if I want to build it? Sod it. Should I? Yeah. Let's do it. I am completely relying on this uh, ram getting to the walls. If not, then uh, I'm fucked. And I'm going to have to retreat. So I'm prepared to get excommunicated. And I'm really pissed off that my cardinals died. I spent so long getting them to fucking wander around and... Uh, Priest it up, but then he goes and dies on his the useless bastard. You can go suck a dick, for all I care. This is a very, very big city, if I do say so. Right, so I don't want to get my forces too close to the walls, because they will get peppered by the Oto Towers. They may also have Ballista Towers, with it being such a large city. Uh, to be honest, that's good enough. Just get used to go to the walls straight away. I'm not sure why I've got me dismounted fuel night doing this. This should really be me spamming or something. Me mercenaries pushing that. But uh, hopefully with their armour, they'll be able to withstand uh, the arrows better. So I may as well just speed it up. Wait until they reach the gate. And then go from there. Doesn't look like they've come under fire, which is good news. But the good, best, better news is that there is no keep with this just being a city. So once I'm in, I'm in. There's going to be no faffing on with having to breach extra walls or anything. So let's just uh, watch this gate shag the hell out. Watch the ram shag the hell out the gate. Yeah, baby, do it harder. And the gates have fallen. So I'll slow this shit right down. 
and use just put that round to one side get me knight and me king just get everyone to go inside I don't know I just get them to go there for now I'll speed it up just to get everyone there up close and personal how vain can you get there's a fucking statue of some French person Right, so where are they? They're probably in the city square, right there. So what I'll, I will do is have my yeomanry and my longbowmen split so they can get attacked from two sides at once. Right, I can't see any further into the city for some reason, so if I get used to go in, used to go in, used to go in. Right, so can I look further into the city? Yes, I can. Right, so they're hiding there. So if I get, let's see, if I get me spearmen to go there, or there even, I'll tell use lot to go up here. Long booming, I want yous to go behind them mercenary spearmen, because they're going to be your sort of uh, shield wall. Dismount a few knights, I want yous to get there and yeomanry I want yours to get there so the mercenary spearmen are there I want yours to get there actually and let's see the spear militia can go join the party up here I'm not sure why the few, no, the few knights are going the wrong way fuck it you just can go there so you can just go on a flanking manoeuvre maybe get, get used to go there I'll have yours run to speed shit up a bit. So let's see, where are you? So you are there. Oh, hello. Get you to go there. We're going to try and close them in. Right, General's bodyguard, I'm going to pull you out of there. Because you're, you're me general and I don't want to risk him. See what I use. Use a levy spear. I mean, use are going to be no use. Right, if I have use, pull out. You dismount a few knights. No, I'm not going to have use charge. There's no point risking them. Slow this shit down. Have use go here. And if I just get everyone to pile into the square. Get yous, where are yous? Yous are probably be getting chased. Blast. Men no longer command the city. Blast! Who says that anymore? I mean, seriously. Dismount the feudal knights, get on them. Mercenary spearmen, get on them. Yeoman archers, get on them. Our Company longbowmen, get on them. And the spear militia, yous can charge into the back of the fuckers. Go into your wedge formation. Defeat is a distinct possibility, and I would like you to charge into them rather than just sort of saunter into them, please. The battle is very much in our favor. Die! Remain true and, and stop getting in each other's out. way as well, please. Right, you general, get there. So if I get used to come there, and used to go there, and then you can hit them from the side. Rather than aiming through your own men. I get used to move out of the way because they're the elite cavalry. They have lost half their men. Set used to loose and to loose. And set used to loose. Loose formation is better for fighting cavalry because it means you're not presenting such a tightly packed formation for them to charge against. Uh, what are you even doing? You are just sort of stand. News as well. You are sort of kicking your legs around like uh, children or madmen. Right, speed this up a wee bit. They're dying. They're dying. Well, get you to charge into the back of them. Run into the back of them. I'm gonna have you just stop whatever you are doing. Have you just fight hand to hand? 
And they're slowly, slowly dying. Five of them. Three of them. Two. Still two. Come on, you can do it. There's only two of the ugly bastards left. Look at them, look at them. There we go, there's one. And he's dead. The enemy king lies dead. Excellent news. King Fulk has died. We lost 59 men to their 34. Even trade for Marseille. So, yeah, we now hold Marseille. So the France are reduced to Dion and Bern. Oh, yes. Oop, and I haven't been excommunicated yet. Maybe because I was sieging it before I got told not to kill them. I'm not quite sure. Right, uh, if I send some of my men from Paris, because I mean they're all infected. So, I'll send you to Reims. You are a large, 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 large force. And Admiral Stenkill is quite a big force. And I don't want to fight the Russians. But let's see. Alright, I've already taken that turn. Um, use. Come down here. Use a gun hulks. Or just normal hulks, even. You're not even gun hulks. Admiral Stenkiel will uh, have to deal with us, though. Because I've got a feeling they're going to try and board. I hope they're going to try and board and not go for Khan, because Khan is pretty poorly defended. Um. What I could do is get this assassin. It's only a 40% chance. Not worth it. Only 26% chance of him killing Viladsen. Um, 34% chance of him killing John of Grinstead. That's like a 1 in 3 chance. What's his air? Uh, he's got 3. Um. I've got sabotage. I don't know what the chances of anything is, but uh, let's have a look. Captain Thierry, 95%. 95%. I don't want to assassinate a shitty captain, though. I'll have him go there. And, uh. Let's see, you can't. Nope, he doesn't know anything in there either. Fuck it. I'll just leave that for now. They're definitely a sieging force, so what I might do is start half Khan recruiting more men. Uh, namely, long women. And feudal knights. And more long women. And more feudal knights. Right. So we now own Marseille, which is good because Marseille is a very, very large city it's a huge city nonetheless and I uh, can get Docklands which uh, increases credible goods and increases the number of trade fleets available by three what other interesting things can I build like a siege works is that you've still got siege works available you haven't built that yet a mayor's palace what, what can it recruit a priest. I will recruit more priests. I'll recruit cogs, hulks, gun hulk. I don't know what they're waiting there for, like, but uh, you can fuck off, please. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, your Dion and Burn. That's all that the French have left. So let's end this turn. Maybe, do I want to? Yeah, go on. Oop, I forgot he could uh, Let's see. Make off an alliance. With Venet in it, do I want to? Um, How about map information for map information? Find map information, make offer. 
map information for map information and a single payment of 100 florins. Let us leave this oh, fine. Fuck's sake. Until next time. I mean, map information for map information, that seems like a pretty generous deal. Oop, it looks like France are going begging at the Holy Roman Empire. Go, please, please save us. Reams again, it came up with this display. I'm not sure why. I wish it would fuck off, and I wish this, whatever it's doing, would piss off. To lose now? What is, what is going on? Oh, hello. Whose ship is that? Is that the French? That can't be the French, can it? Venice have got an assassin hiding around here. I don't like the fact that they're walking over that way. Maybe they're coming to get us. And they're getting on board and they're going to get straight back off again. Yes, thank you. Please go away. And Egypt. More Egypt. And the treacherous Denmark. Who are, as soon as the French are wiped out, they're going to be bearing the brunt of my angst. Yes, yeah, so you'll go down there and fuck off. Attack them rebels who are waiting in ambush. Reims is very, very, very unhappy. I don't like how close they are to Paris. I do not like that. I fear Paris may be getting sieged sometime soon by quite large force, I must add. So, yeah. I wish this would hurry up and just get to my turn, please. Sometime soon. I'm not too concerned with what the hell's happening down here because it does not concern me. Come on, Rebels. Last one. I might have to start editing these out because it's starting to just get annoying. Death stalks the land. Con and Reams now. Oop, I've went up. I'm top of the financial pile. Third in the military. And everything's green. Excellent. I'm the richest faction. Um, retinue expands. Retinue expands. Retinue expands. Oh. So I've just recruited him and he's already infected with plague. I could use that to my advantage seeing as... Uh, Priests have free room. Ah, I thought that would happen. And Denmark have had a cardinal promoted. Fucking excellent. So hold on. Where's the there's the priest who uh, is infected? In Paris, is he? Yes. yes. So if I send him down to Dion, maybe maybe he will uh, be able to infect it there's only a 25 success rate of uh, getting that hair burnt at the stake fuck thought him only 11 percent right get you to go down here mitchell of lancaster Lan was that lancaster or, or yes lancaster so if I start recruiting more priests, because priests are good. An armored swordsman. Reams is still very, very, very unhappy. In fact, I think it's on the border, uh, on the verge of rebelling. So let's see. You are there. They have nobody aboard them. He only has that one person aboard. And attack. I sunk one of their ships. And he's fucked off. And attack him. I sunk one of their ships as well and he's fucked off. Come on then. You wanna fight? I'll give you a fucking fight. Right, and then somewhere up here there's Admiral Stenkill. Both we sunk one of their ships. Trade increase and relations worsened with the Holy Roman Empire. 
All right. Uh, I think they're going to be my next targets. Wait, them. They're going to be my next enemies. I should say, not targets, because. I mean, I've I've got nothing against the Holy Roman Empire. It's just they have things against me. Right, so he's infiltrated Aarhus. So just now that he's done that and I know what's in there, I can leave. If it let us. So what's going on down here? Absolutely nothing. Right. So let's see if I can get you to see me. And what? There it was with the Holy Roman Empire. Um, on Milan. Fine. How about map information for map information? And I will make a single payment of. 300 florins because I'm rich. Almost. Just with them. Give up. So, wait, let us get this straight. Let me get this straight. I said I'll give you map information and 300 florins for your map information. You've countered that with give us 160 florins or we will attack. You are a bell end. I don't like bell ends. No, I will make a counter. Your demands, please do not attack. <laughs> no, I'm not bothered if you attack. Give us your map information. We cannot quite Fine, I'll make a it in. Map information, map information. And I'll give you a single. Fine, last offer 600 florins. Generous. Almost. No, fuck off. You can fuck right off. I'm gonna cancel my trade rights with you. Fuck you. No, fuck off. Relations worsen with Venice. I couldn't care. You are a bunch of twats. I'm gonna see if I can try and uh, negotiate with the Holy Roman Empire. And there's only a 5% chance of spying on him. Fucking hell, he's a very good spy. Probably because he's been sitting in fucking Paris for all this time. So, I go to Bern and have a look what's in there. Nothing. Pretty much nothing. So, um, I'm not sure where France is getting all this money from, to be honest, to have such a large force. And I wanted to have a look at this. It is indeed a French Navy, however, they don't have anyone on board. However, they will block Toulouse. Toulouse will get blockaded. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not all that bothered. Uh, some famous battle sites, which is all very interesting. I'm surprised this isn't littered with famous battle sites up here. The amount of battles have taken place. Right, so I'm going to call that an end to this episode. Uh, hopefully in the next one we can either make a move against Dion or Burn. Probably Burn because it's the light, lightest defended. And then I'll look on to moving on to Dion. And so, yeah, I will uh, hopefully see you in the next one. And until then, farewell.